This time I'm gonna go on the safe route, I'm sure there is a video about this, about how to save Lagarde. I'm definitely sure there will be a video, see? Uh, tw 20 minutes, 50, uh, okay, no, no worries, no worries, I wanted to do it anyways. So, this is how to save Lagarde. So, how do you do it? Basically, the concept is you have to reach Lagarde cell within 30 minutes from the start, and considering a little bit of backstory of the Outlander, we may imagine what happens after 30 minutes, probably. Yeah, probably the Outlander just strangled him. But anyways, suggestions. First of all, learn dash during the intro, since it will allow you to move almost two times faster, probably. I don't know exactly, I've never counted the speed of the character, but anyways. And before you ask, no, the time spent in the menu shouldn't count towards Lagarde being dead or not. And how do I know it? I tried spending one hour in the menus and then going down to Lagarde. I don't know if I had some other stuff going on in the game, but no, Lagarde was alive, so the time in the menu doesn't count. There are three, potentially four ways to reach the level 7 in which Lagarde is imprisoned. Let me explain each of them. The Cave Dweller City is probably the most consistent way to reach Lagarde, because you don't need any items, any particular RNG thing, there is just one single compulsory enemy, compulsory because otherwise he will just cast hurting on you, the Yellow Mage. But then again, you can just cut his left leg so he cannot use hurting, and then cut his left arm, and after that you're good. While in the Cave Dweller City, grab the rope, then go back to this big hole, place the rope, and you will be in the infested part of the mines. From there, you can reach Lagarde pretty easily. Another way that can make you skip the fight with the Yellow Mage, and potentially some minutes, is this one, which is blocked by a wall, and you need that explosive vial in order to open it. Why don't I suggest this one? Because if you have an explosive vial, you can reach Lagarde very easily through our next way, the thicket. You need an explosive vial and the mocha boot found in this library in the entrance level 1. After getting those, you can go in the library in the next chamber, in the next place where there are the dark cultists, and use the mocha book to enter the courtyard. While you are here, you have to make this wall blow up and you will be in the thicket. Just fall down through the thicket and you will be to Lagarde. Fast way, probably. It's my favorite way because it is the fastest. And now the last way. The Iron Door. <sighs> so, Iron Doors can be destroyed. They have a health. I think the health of this one is like 800, 850, something around that number. So if you're able to have enough damage output, you can destroy it, but you have only 30 minutes to gather this damage output. How can you do it? There is a simpler way. You see, all the doors in the game, I don't know why, from what I think to understand, are programmed to be legs. Why am I mentioning this? Because there is a skill in the game called Leg Sweep. A skill that can be taught using a scroll of the longsword, and that can destroy instantly the legs of an enemy. So... make 2 plus 2. If you find this scroll and you have a longsword equipped, you're going to be able to consume 20 mines to instantly destroy this door, and not only this door, all the doors in the dungeon. Also, I think I should mention this, if you start as Kahara you get access to steel, and did you know you can steal the scroll of the longsword with, I think, 50% chance from Sir Seymour? So if you're able to deal with him, you basically have access instantly to a way to reach Lagarde. 